Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen all the data structures and the data types that supported in the JavaScript. Okay, we have uh, this is a simple HTML file and here we have one script file that is imported as we have seen in the previous video how we can import it and now here is the source file we, sh we will go to the source file. Here we will be able to see that we have declared a variable with where variable 1 and we are consoling that variable. Now let's try to see this one in the browser. Okay. Now we will try to reveal in file explorer. Let's check that one in the file explorer. Okay fine. Let's try to open it in the browser. Okay. Now we will try to open that one in the browser. It is still trying to save saving.index.html. I don't know why this. Okay fine. Let's open this one. Okay. We will open this one in the inspect variable. Now if we see in the inspect variable we should get console uh, we should get 5 as an output in the console. If you go to the console yeah if you go to the console we can see the variable uh, it's a 5. Okay fine. Now we are save, able to see the output. Uh, why this one is taking so much of time I don't know. Okay fine. Yeah. Now let uh, let's what we will do is we will try to remove the semicolons here. Okay, now we will try to remove the semicolons and we'll try to save it. Okay, my actually I have extension in the Java in the Visual Studio Code so that it is trying to keep. If I remove the semicolon also, it is trying to keep the semicolon at the end of the line. Let's try to open this one in the Notepad plus plus. So which do not have any plugins or anything. So whatever we write the code, it will save as it is. Okay, so modified by another one. Do you want to read? No. Okay. Now what? Okay. Now it is trying to save. No. Okay. We will close this all the file again. Again we will try to open it. Okay. If we try to open this one. Yeah. This is the code what you have seen in the Visual Studio Code. The same file I, op I have opened it one in the notepad. Now I will try to remove the semicolons. Okay. Now I will try to remove the semicolons. So the file is saved. Now I will try to check the output. If I try to check the output, I am getting the same output. Uh, so in almost uh, most of the programming language you will be able to learn that every uh, line uh, at the end of the line you need to keep a semicolon but here it's not mandatory it's looking like it's not mandatory what we will try to do is now we will try to remove the where the declaration so we will be having in any other programming languages as int double or something like that so we will try to remove that variable one and we will and we will try to execute it again again I am getting the five what is happening here so if I am changing everything, if I am removing everything line, it is executing. What I will try to do is, I will try to do like this. So we will check it if it uh, executes or not. Yeah, now we got the error here, see. That means what the, the thing is happening here is, if you didn't keep the semicolon or anything, browser assumes that for every new line as a as the end of the line so it will try to keep the semicolon browser itself uh, tries to keep the semicolon at the time of execution um, and also now you didn't declare the variable here so browser thinks that you are you are assigning variable one variable one is equal to five and it is trying to think that okay he declared the variable and he is it is trying to keep the var variable here okay now these type of things what will happen these are the things browser will be taking care so the if you write like this of code what will happen is browser goes on executing this type of code and tries to think of all the things this could uh, result to the performance issues. So what we need to do is maximum try to keep all the semicolons and all those things. But you can say that it is not showing any errors or anything how can we how can we know these all things. So for this reason what we need to do is we need to uh, javascript provides an option so that you can use use strict. Okay we can use, use by using this strict option now let's try to execute the code okay now we will try to remove these lines okay now we will try to remove these all the lines and we will try to remove the semicolons and we will execute the file if we try to execute see here you are get, trying to get an error variable 1 is not defined yeah okay fine what we will try to do is now we will try to use the where here no okay fine we use it where here 
now we will try to execute this one now we got the error, error uh, we got the output as 5 but but you will be able to observe that here we are not using semicolon then also it is trying to display that one why it is displaying is in chrome browser this one will be taken as default but in other browsers like ie browsers and any other browsers so it will throw an error semicolon is not defined so line number is not defined something like that it will be throwing an error but in the chrome you will be not getting the error so it should be better if you write semicolon like this so in this way if you write the code what will happen is the performance issues will not be getting and the performance boost you will be able to get so this is how we will be using the strict option in javascript if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you